This was interesting. This was actually just south of Rome. Now, a lot of times uh, when I go out or did go out shooting, um, you know, I rent a car and I can often drive hundreds of kilometers every day. And I might find no photographs or I might find five photographs. I might find five photographs and not one of them is really something I choose to keep or to use in, in, in any way. So I remember this particular day we had been driving all afternoon, not really finding much. We were in these areas that were former swamps south of Rome. In fact, this is very famous as an area where Mussolini uh, literally recovered these areas from the swamps and uh, engendered a whole new landscape in the south. But in this area, we were driving along a country road along a canal, I remember, and the sun was rapidly setting. And I looked over and I saw this grove of ancient olive trees. These are very, very old olive trees. You can tell by the gnarled thickness of these particular trunks. And as we got closer, I realized these were not trees that were sitting in, in the ground itself, but actually they had been transplanted. And what I realized was these were trees that came from former olive plantations. Now, these are majestic plantations. The south of Italy is famous for its olive groves, its olive oil, these ancient trees which were able to grow for hundreds of years because the winter never killed them off. And that's generally why you see smaller olive trees in the north and thicker ones in the south. So that's why these are very, very old trees. But I saw that they were in these plastic tubs. And what I found out was these were essentially trees that came from abandoned or bankrupt uh, or bought uh, olive plantations and were now being repurposed as a decorative olive trees. And they would now be transplanted into contemporary yards or corporate headquarters. And again, the displacement between the, this magnificent production of olives and oil in the South to now becoming a decorative object to me, again, was emblematic of a kind of resignation to a change in culture, an exploitation or conquering of that land. And that's what this picture is all about.